SMG4 wakes up to three sharing his bed awkwardly out of left field. They both try to get out of dodge but learn their hands are glued together. They investigate why that is then immediately attribute this problem to their own dim-witted friend. Mario arrives and playfully claims they started dating as a result but wants to get them unstuck. Going to the hospital at Zombie Apocalypse is not ugly occurring in town so that's one last option they have. They go back home for Mario to try other enemies but nothing works. So the duo are first to go about their day with silly convenience. 4 and 3 grow tired of each other's person again until Mario returns with two familiar acquaintances. Turns out 1 and 2 were planning this as an exercise of tolerance in order to hone those skills as universal guardians. In case of any future danger, they can't easily resolve with their weekly shenanigans. 1 and 2 transport them to an obstacle course to test them using Mario with 3's notebook to coerce them into participating. After reenact an episode of Wipeout and American Ninja Warrior, 1 and 2 up the tension by adding a ball fire in Mario's location. Motivating the heroes to set up their differences and have save his skin, their task is complete, allowing 1 to undo the spell they place, but neither he or 2 recall casting in the first place, with Mario revealing it was a super sticky piece of gum that did the trick. Either he miraculously spat it into one of their hands, or that gum is scientifically more powerful than magic. That's up for us to decide. It added chase 3 considering his notebook was also on the line, throwing the plumber into the pipe where Mike Mateo is paying a visit. Hopefully he brought in the iPad. 7.5 out of 10, two guys pentonically holding hands against their will. It's a pair overcoming each other's differences to prepare them for the future while one of the main stars takes a secondary role. 1 and 2 gladly return once again, crushing the dreams of people who think they've been forgotten by the crew members for whatever that's worth. The episode's pacing is a bit, a bit of a slog when they don't know why their hands are stuck, but thankfully it picks up when they're told about the mission to resolve it. The humor is serviceable but takes a backseat. And the characters are just fine. Seeing one's reaction to Mario's gum and particularly near kill, kill me, implying Mario is the embodiment of chaos that surpasses his cosmetically linked breath for better or worse. However, the Guardians still have the way to go to drop their bitter rivals. <laughs> and given what happens in this next episode, Mario wakes up in a dark room interrogated by three since he suspects his journal is in his possession again. He doesn't have it as he claims he was busy playing Club Penguin Legacy the other day. He's on edge with his secrets and dire straits as he points at anyone who remotely looks at him funny or rather he looks at it. The Paisana Police Force took it, reminding him of the recent time he's trying to take a peek at the time he took it during an argument between their pets. While Four celebrates passing his FORKLIFT DRIVER class, three tackles him head on and they face off through the showgrounds. The cap trio go back in the kitchen still unsure who took the notebook causing them to engage in a, in a shoot shootout the last two hours, wasting all the bullets. Three says he was also playing club and when the same time it was stolen, which makes Four suggest he should take a look at it, the webcam footage, which he should have done in the first place. Viewing his stream, it reveals Mario was the cold trip the whole time since he managed to steal it while he was on break. The Guardians disapprove of this action and attempt to get it back from his hands, but escapes and later delivers to his master, who after the episode's release, is revealed to be Marty. Three stands outside the rain knowing his secrets are just one long lock away from being revealed, and ambitiously plans to his next move. What's making Mario betray his friends, or who's really pulling the strings this time? 6.5 out of 10. No Patrick, this is still isn't a big story arc. This episode is simply a build up for the following special. At the cost of humor for the dramatic ending, it's fairly decent. But Mario's motivation threw me off guard. At first I praised the ending for him being a twist villain, but his reason for stealing 3's book, well we'll get to that soon. It doesn't leave a whole lot of room for explaining, unless you're analyzing these videos through, which I myself don't have time for. What I'm willing to do is give these videos a fair shot of what they do, especially the big episodes they plan. Let's see this year's take on an annual tradition.
That's right, we're going full on James Bond with this one. Instead of dropping suggested scenarios for the group to tackle, viewers had to vote between two choices per mission and watch to find out if they picked the right one. The crew had a special live stream for the fans to vote in the comments, so the winning results are featured in the special. What happens in the episode determines if the good and or bad ending was chosen. Ergo, they play in multiple outcomes that they are left out in the final product. Hopefully, they'll release those one day, but for now, I'm going over what we got. 4 and 3 are planning to take back the latter's journal from Mario and Mari, who are just running an establishment called the Casino Paisano. They have yet to look at what's inside and have guarded it with excessive security in the tower. The Guardians are gussy up to blend in and sneak their way to the top and hopefully knock some sense into the European scatterbrain. And now for the heist. Mission 1. They infiltrate the building by scaring Mario away, which ends up working because his incomprehensible fear of familiar faces once Ford drops his clown mask. Mission 2. They disable the security cameras through Ford's hacking skills, ending up playing footage of him dancing which alerts the guards. Mission 3. They win the jackpot through 3's rigging earn them VIP access. Mission 4. They attempt to bypass the VIP room to get to the CEO office through a game of cards, but end up getting captured by Swag and Chris. Mission 5. They try to escape the elevator by throwing tear gas, but forgot the mask, and turns out the guards are immune to it, just like- How can you stand to be tear gassed? My eyes are watering just sitting next to you. <laughs> I've been tear gassed so many times I don't even notice anymore. Mission 6, they decide to use the almighty BOJ, which only works for Mario and the elevator crashes, so the deranged plumber seizes the spies in a torture chamber. Mission 7, Mario takes over this one to interrogate 3 for his diary key, forcing him to watch crappy memes. It does nothing but decreases the duo's risk even further. Mission 8. 3 is freed when the Egg Dog is summoned and attacks Mario for hurting his master, buying them time to head to the vault. Mission 9. They get trapped in a Mario themed shop and are forced to buy everything with the money they won to keep Mario from attacking his customers. But they're under 12 million short. Mission 10. Captured again, they're forced to participate in a game show hosted by Shroomy. He asks, What happened? That time the guys were trapped in the igloo and are forced to relieve their trauma looking up the answer which gives them a pass. Mission 11. They escape in the fence and bump into Depresso, whom they convince to hold Mario down with his extremely dated humor for a moment. Mission 12. Four insults Mario to engage in one-on-one -on -one ending in a rock paper scissors match. The pesky plumber is knocked out and Spice grab the full key. Mission 13. Three throws Mario into the laser guarding the journal but it further secures itself, so he uses his watch to hack the system, while Mario is on their tails. Mission 14, 4 pulls out a gift box that's supposed to have a heavy weapon, but it's actually a mini clone of the literal heavy weapons guy. It successfully distracts Mario and the spies finally make it to the vault. And for the final mission, they battle Mario Marty with the power of memes, the Guardians summon the Club Penguin mascot, gratifying Mario's childish desires until it disappears. This saddens him enough to reveal some truth about himself. Apparently he was a big fan of the game when it's officially active until it shut down and lost contact with the friends he had on there. Unless they were just as close as his real one. This highlights a major problem with his character. He puts his own interests over others. That doesn't mean he hates his pals, but it's determinedly fixated on material things to point at causing harm through his insanity, just like he trusts Marty over Luigi, for example, to take the notebook while opening a casino and is willing to destroy people he stood by for a decade under meaningless circumstances. As he was giving his sob story, three plants a diamond on Mario's Mac and snatches the book, all since then go, as the spies escape the tower. In song! After a spectacular spy song that's up there with Snake Eater, the duo escape the destroyed casino and complete the heist. As a result of the damages, Mario and Marty are in prison implying their establishment wasn't legit. He asks the cutout where he got the pizza recipe for his shop 
Revealing a flashback of him receiving a fax telling him it's written in the journal, which probably contributed towards sales that helped pay for the new castle. Meanwhile, 4 and 3 settle down at home after their crazy adventure while the latter announces his upcoming adventure. A coffee shop that also supplies explosives. His old Starbucks has seen better days, so he's taking the opportunity to be closer to his friends, including his former rival while still taking care of the web graveyard. We then cut to a mysterious TV person watching everything unfold and congratulate the audience, eager to plan his next move. 8.5 out of 10. An intense 2 vs. 2 spy thriller. This Wolfie special switches the format with something more unique alongside its spy motive, serving a thing we don't we didn't know we wanted. The only real gripe I have is the choices were kind of vague and it was kind of hard to tell which one was effective. Though knowing the nature of this series, it was likely intentional. 4 and 3 are excellent as duo putting the past behind and Mario and Mario put up a good fight. Despite the former's unorthodox intentions, you can definitely see the love they put into the special. But if you don't, you're probably blind, but not blind enough that you, you can still click on this video. The point is, I don't see what others think of the crew favoring their long-term projects over the series that earned their success in the first place. It's a sad blanket statement that affects the nuns of the artist's actual intentions originating from the sins of the higher-ups of animation. But that's a, that's a topic for later. Right now, I mean, this is as seriously as I could. Great work staying true to your work, Glitch. Please keep the surprises going as long as you can. And I look forward to the conclusion of this saga of this ever evolving series, no matter what the worst of modern social media will do to you. Man, even with the spooky stuff lit in the background, this was still an interesting month for the channel. There's two batches left before this year is wrapped up, and I pray we won't slack them off. Hope you guys had a happy Halloween slash Thanksgiving and are gearing up for the holiday season. And as always, stay safe and peace out. Looks like you're in trouble. Here he comes. You better watch out. He's gonna suck you. Turn the game off. Turn it off. Don't let him jump scare you. Jump scare incoming. Look out. Oh no. <laughs>